All right, so it's springtime, it's camper season, and a lot of you guys are probably looking at YouTube videos on how you can spruce up your camper, or maybe you're in the market to buy a camper and you're looking to remodel one. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took a camper, remodeled it, and we're gonna go through a step-by-step -step journey of me going from picking up the camper all the way to fixing it up, and then what it looks like now. So that's gonna be today's video. Let's go ahead and cue the intro and dive into it. So my wife and I, we recently just purchased this camper and we're wait, today's the day that we're actually gonna go pick it up. I'm not a camper, I'm gonna be learning a lot along this journey. Right now I'm waiting on a guy to come with his truck, so we're waiting for him to get here. Okay, right there's a guy that's gonna help us move this thing. So we're off to go get our camper. Okay, so we're following the camper and we're a little bit nervous because the tires are dry rot. The guy that we paid to pull this thing said he would be surprised if we made it back to our house without the tires blowing. So, we're, yeah, we're a little on edge right now, but we said our prayers and uh, we're going on faith. But we're watching that camper closely as we're behind it. Also, there's no taillights on it. Taillights are not working. Okay, guy just left, parked our camper. He seemed to know what he was doing and uh, got it all leveled up for us right there. So we're going to pull down the steps and take a look at the inside and give you guys a sneak peek of it. Looks like it could use a good power washing on this side here, but we're gonna make this thing look pretty cool. All right, so just me and my dog, we're just kind of scoping out the table here, and she's asking what's for dinner. I think, I think she likes this place. Yeah. But hey, hey, no, no standing on the dining table. When they get on, that's rude. <laughs> Sorry for the sound, we got the air on, but I was trying to figure out how to get these padded things off because they're on there. They're on there pretty good. But I learned that if you pop these buttons off, there's a screw behind there, and that's what holds all this padded stuff on the camper down. So pop those off, take the screw out, and that should come off easy. All right, so this panel here was actually glass. It had a wolf on the glass, which we weren't really a big fan of, but we just ended up painting right over the glass. So you can't even tell if you look at it like this, it looks like wood. So yeah, a little tip there for you. I'm getting ready to put on our first coat of paint. We picked the color grayish. 
so it kind of looks whitish to me so we'll see how it goes <laughs> Okay, so we got the second coat of paint, gray paint, put on the walls here. I think we can get away with just using two coats there. It looks pretty good right now. It took three coats to do all the white paint on the cabinets. But next up, on these walls here, well, let me, these walls right here, we're going to put a uh, shiplap peel and stick on that wall there. So it's going to be the two walls on the push out, but it's going to be this peel and stick. Uh, shiplap wallpapering right here. Okay, one of the next uh, renovations we're going to do is we spray painted these handles here. They were brass. Um, but they're kind of like a fancy type of handle and we wanted to go with more of a modern look so we bought these modern handles here they're just kind of straight edges but we're gonna go ahead and take these all off and replace them with these black modern handles. All right so we're gonna mount a 40 inch Samsung smart TV It's like day four of working on a camper. I had to take a couple days rest because my body was sore from twisting and pulling and bending in places that it's not used to. But I think it's coming along pretty good. Um, there's got the TV hung, but today's project is taking this spot here and putting these black tiles under these gothic black farmhouse style tiles. Bam, all right, it is complete now. There they are, all the tiles, the gothic farmhouse style tiles. Okay, so next up on the remodel is this wall here that goes all the way around in our kitchen area. And I'm going to be covering up all this with this white subway tile. <laughs> Okay, as you can see right here, this is an old bulb light here, and this is a bright LED light. Look at the difference in color there and brightness. So we're going to be replacing all of the lights that we have here in the living space with these bright white LED lights. Okay, uh, hit the lights. Bam, look at that. What a difference. They're Okay, so since the last time that we filmed, a lot has transpired and a lot has changed. The footage that you guys watched was us of making this camper the way that we wanted it to be. Well, a lot has transpired since then and we lived in it for about five weeks and it served us very well for the particular season of life that we needed it to. Uh, but now we have thus moved out of it and bought another house and are living somewhere else. So now we are getting this camper prepared to sell it. Um, so, but I want to give you guys a glimpse of what it looked like inside or what it looks like right now inside. So that way you can see the before and the after. Okay, so we painted the walls like a light gray color, painted that door white, kept the knobs black there, 
Um, instead of reupholstering that couch, we just threw a gray blanket over it because it was going to cost us $600 to reupholster that couch. So I was like, no way, Jose. My wife uh, found some fabric and reupholstered that up there. I did buy some pine wood here that we stained and made it gray. Right there, I bought that decal, Adventure Awaits. And this is what it looks like here. We put this rug down, gray to match the, the coloring that we wanted. The black and white, all, or not all those that wander are lost. Uh, Keychain hooks there. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Check out this uh, backsplash there, subway tile backsplash. Now that subway tile backsplash was not as easy as it looked to put up. Getting those lines to be straight was a little bit of a challenge, but it took me probably about three and a half hours and I got that all done. <clears throat> These LED lights were a huge difference uh, from the old style. They were like a yellowish old bulb. I put in LED lights in all these lights here and it completely changed the whole look and lighting of this camper. We replaced all the knobs here with these modern style knobs and we bought those black. We originally painted the old knobs to see if we could save a few dollars that way, but we ended up liking the modern style and just replacing those old knobs. So we kind of painted those old knobs for, well, for nothing. These white curtains here to give us a little bit of privacy. Right here, I've already taken them down, but I had a thermostat right here, or not uh, thermostat, something that told me what the temperature was outside and inside. Up here I had a clock that illuminated that. Uh, it was a digital clock that told us what time it was. And then here I had a 40 inch Samsung ultra high definition TV that gave us our, our TV for the evenings and that served us very well. Now it's in my office at our new house. But yeah, one of my favorite pieces of this whole remodeling was that decal adventure awaits because transforming this space and transforming this camper was an adventure for us and we were embarking on a new adventure in our lives and if you're wondering where we did get any of these items that we purchased for this camper i'm going to have links in the description down below of where i purchased a lot of these items thanks for watching this video guys be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you back in the next one. Be creative.